guys what's going on my name is Lewis and god bless every single one of you today is june 7 2024 and welcome to the real gs news channel all right guys so we have some breaking news updates some very important information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here you have the sleeping giant weapon take out three and enter 35 in the yellow and blue country oh All right, so once again, guys, uh, Sleeping Giant equipment is being fired, is being used, and now there are reports of uh, multiple DEAD uh, and injured. So the bear said that the yellow and blue fire five, wow, the ATACs, wow, uh, missiles with four intercepted by air defense system. Now it says here, However, one partially destroyed two residential buildings, and once again, three have passed, and 35 enter. And my deepest condolence and prayers to the families and friends that lost the loved ones. Um, here's the thing, guys, is that there need, there need to be some kind of consequences or uh, a punishment when it comes to these... Uh, Biblical wars, uh, there's been a lot of innocent being taken out, especially what's going on in the strip, the GAZA strip. Um, so many innocents are being impacted. It's coming to a point that, you know, enough is enough. So we're going to see what's going on here, guys. This is a big breaking news. It says the strike also damaged two other facility. Wow. I mean,. Hopefully there weren't no young ones in there, but uh, yeah, this is a uh, that's what's going on right now, guys. That's what's going on right now, and I'm gonna share this link if you guys want to check out the videos. I'm gonna show you my Twitter page, and uh, the link to my Twitter would be in the comments box. We have more breaking news. The former four six assistants. Wow, uh, she's coming out. She said this. The 4 6 re election means WW. WW3. Now I'm going to skip a name, guys. Uh, so, this person at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum said if there's another four years of 4 6, we're looking at WW3. Yes. And a total collapse of the sleeping giant economy. I mean, it would just be brutal. I mean, forget about five dollar tree is going to be fifty dollar tree i mean forget about the gas price is going to hit the roof i mean this dude it just he could do so much wrong but everybody's going to blame the four five it says here there is no question the four six is very hawkish his leadership is feeble at best i don't think the sleeping giant can economically or existentially survive Four, six. I agree 100%. I totally agree 100%. The four, six, he's going to literally destroy the sleeping giant. If he gets in for another four, he will destroy the sleeping giant. Now, here's the thing, guys. If this is a fair game, the four, six will be out. I mean, November, poof, Wow, he only gonna get like 10 million VOTES. But again, uh, again, it's not a fair game. So there's gonna be some stuff to come this November. There's gonna be surprise. I mean, it's going to shock everyone. So look, my prediction, I believe the four or five is gonna get over 100 million VOTES. And there is no way the four or six is gonna get over 100 million VOTES. Absolutely no way. I don't see that happening. But if somehow he gets over 100 million, you guys know that the game is not played fair. It's not played fair. By the way, the 4 5 just gained 400 million, almost 500 million ever since last week. Guilty. Five, almost 500 million. That's, I mean, that goes to tell you that everyone is going for 4 5. Wow.
A NUKE biblical war can begin at any moment. The world is on the break of biblical war. Once again, in Eastern Europe, uh, the yellow and blue, and the yellow and blue in the Holy Land, Persia, Taiwan, you know what, North K, just to name a few of the hot spots. I want to thank Mr. Burns for doing all that because he is responsible. Ever since 4 6 came into the spotlight, he has done nothing but transform the entire world. Alright, I want to bring this up really quick, guys, but many of you probably, uh, probably already know about this one. NATO preparing for potential ground biblical war with the bear. Now, including plans for sleeping giant camouflage involvement. Yeah, well, that's not going to be pretty, guys. That's not going to be pretty if that happens. Alright, guys, I just posted a video not too long ago. If you guys want to check this one out, uh, it seems like Florida is on high alert. The bear announces from the sleeping giant of the UN the ultimatum to NATO. The French are talking about the development of nuclear in Libya, Cuba, and Venezuela, aimed at Florida. The French and a sleeping giant concerned over the movement of the bear nuclear submarine. That link, this link will be in the comments box if you guys want to check out that video. Let's see what's going on with this one. The Red Dragon say, hey, we will help the bear militarily if struck by the West. Man, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. It's no longer rumors of wars. It's now nation against nation and we are seeing it. Hmm. It says here, important intervention by the Ministry of Defense of the People's Republic of the Red Dragon for joint defense with the Bear of Justice, impartial, uh, impartial, impartiality and security in the world. The official spokesman of the Ministry of Defense of the People's Republic of the Red Dragon uh, this person, after the announcement of the West about the events of strikes by Western equipment on the territory of the bear and the danger of a general biblical war, said. The Red Dragon Armed Forces are ready to cooperate with the bear military to fully implement the uh, important concessions reached by the leaders of the two states. He also added... The military personnel of the Red Dragon military are ready, together with their bear colleagues, to defend international justice and impartiality and also make every effort to ensure international and regional security. So, what the Red Dragon is saying there, that if the sleeping giant give the green light to UKR, the yellow and blue country, to use Sleeping Giant U.S. equipments to hit the bear, uh, the Red Dragon is going to get involved. Now, many of you are probably saying, hold on, isn't the, uh, isn't the Red Dragon striking the bear country? Well, not exactly. This is a breaking news update. The bear country is not getting hit. Even though the sleeping giant news, oh, the bear country is getting hit, the territory is getting hit, they're getting hit. Uh, no, um, the sleeping giant leader put out a statement last night, and I did share the video. NATO and the sleeping giant to the yellow and blue country secure the airspace for NATO forces to enter, hit targets 300 kilometers deep inside the bear. So here's the thing they're hitting the second largest city. And UKR, the yellow and blue country, which is Kharkiv. And Kharkiv, it's not a bear country. It's considered bear territory. Well, I don't even think it's annexed. Well, again, guys, the bear is not getting hit. The capital is not getting hit. The Kremlin Gov buildings is not getting hit. It's just Kharkiv. And that's the second largest city in the bear country. Excuse me. In Ukraine uh, territory. So statements by the sleeping giant leader... And the NATO uh, Secretary General said that NATO plan for deployment of forces is in full effect. 
Let's see what's going on here, guys. Let's see what's going on here. So it seems like a lot of nations are going to get involved. A lot of nations to get involved. Let me take a screenshot of this one here for my thumbnail. If you can, please share this video. And once again, guys, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. My address is highlighted yellow. NATO has given the yellow and blue permission to move its Patriot and SAMT slash T air defense system near the bear border to bring the bear airfields and fighter jets into range. The purpose is to remove the bear air force from the UKR or at least reduce its effectiveness. This is the first leg of NATO plan. A few hours ago, the sleeping giant leader, Joe, in a retently revealed that the sleeping giant and NATO have given, given permission to UKR to hit targets very deep in the bare hinterland. Now the 4-6, the leader, Joe, said in an interview that Kiev will not hit Moscow or the Krem. All right. Once again, let me just highlight this really quick here. This is the one right here. Now, I got to highlight it and I got to repeat myself because a lot of people are saying that, yes, the bear country, Russia, is getting hit. No, it's not. It's not. Trust me, it's not getting hit. It's not. Kharkiv region is uh, seeing it, right? Because that's where all the uh, operations going on right now. That's like considered the second invasion. All right, so this is the second leg of the NATO plan. The airports, the bear bases in Bergorod and all these other regions to be within range of the ballistic system that NATO gave UKR. So these two figures together with the dispatch to Kiev of F-16, man, some very powerful aircraft here. Look at this, France is sending some very powerful ones. <whistles> Indicate that NATO is preparing to enter UKR with ground forces. Boom. All this announced today. It was announced today. Especially this one. I think this one here was announced yesterday by Emmanuel. All right, so once again, some very powerful birds. It's going to be in the sky. Look out. There is no leader in the yellow and blue. And ATL has taken over. All right, so movement of Patriot and Sump slash T near the bear border. Now, UKR can take down planes in the bear airspace using Patriot system provided by Germany. All right, so the Army Chief uh, General said, now, it is very possible that the system that have now been transferred to the, there we go, Kharkiv region will also operate over the bear airspace. They are excellent for combating the bear aircraft, which can drop formidable glide BOMBS. He added that uh, responsibility for the use of the system rests exclusively with the UKR military. Now, the same is expected to be done with the other air defense system, the SOMP slash T, uh, Iris T, etc. So they're going to have some missile defense system. They're going to have some F-16s and some uh, other birds in the sky and possibly ground forces. This, again, guys, this thing is going to hit the fan. And I do believe Kharkiv is the big one. So I watched this video about three weeks ago. Someone said WW3 would start in Kharkiv. And it seems like he may be right. Because everything is happening in Kharkiv. The green light was given uh, to strike those in Kharkiv. So it seems like WW3 might start from that region. Because there's a lot of things that uh, is being announced today. 
and um, ground forces and birds in the sky. The yellow and blue can take down birds in the bare airspace using the Patriot system transferred to Germany. This was stated by the head of the German UKR Situation Center, uh, Military Mayor General. I'm going to skip his name. Now, guys, we did talk about Germany. Now, remember, I did post that video of the public uh, uh, broadcast announcement update. And um, also, they talked about shelters and uh, food uh, storage. And again, I've been talking about Germany for these last two days. And it seems like they're getting ready. If you guys can, please give this video a big thumbs up. Giving the video a big thumbs up does help out with the channel. So if you can, uh, give this video a big thumbs up and share the video. And I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support, either through PayPal or the super thanks or the super chat or the live chat thing. Thank you so much for your support. Your support truly helps out. The 4-6, the leader of the Sleeping Giant, said UKR will not hurt Moscow or the Kremlin. There you go. And we did talk about this yesterday. So all that talk that, you know, the Sleeping Giant leader said we hitting the bear territory is baloney. <laughs> so um, they're hitting Kharkiv. The equipment that the Sleeping Giant has allowed UKR to use on the bear soil will not be used to hurt Moscow or the K, Kremlin. Uh, the Sleeping Giant leader said in an ex excerpt of an interview released today by the Sleeping Giant Network, ABC. Actually, it was it was released yesterday. It says here the Sleeping Giant leader last week gave the green light under condition for the use of equipment by Kiev against Target in the Bear located near the Kharkiv region, northeastern Crane. Ask if he knows whether these equipments have already been used by the Yellow Blue Capital. The Sleeping Giant leader did not directly answer, but he assured that the Sleeping Giant does not allow them to be used for strike at a distance of 300 kilometers inside the Bear Territory, inside the Bear Territory, neither in Moscow nor in the Kremlin. There you go. There you go. Right there. I, I, I'm just going to highlight it. That's what he said yesterday. This is the reason why the bear has not responded yet, because their land is not seeing it. They're not seeing those sleeping giant equipment. Moscow is not getting impacted. They should be used near the border in case of strike against the yellow and blue targets launched by the bear, he noted. Now he knows, he knows if our stuff hit the bear, it's game time. It's WW3. That's why... That's why uh, he's not giving the green light to strike inside a bear like Moscow and all that. The 4-6 phrase about strike at a distance of 300 kilometers reveals that NATL planning for targets at a very great depth and range in the bear hinterland. Once again, the yellow and blue capital will report that the Moscow is bombing or transporting equipment or creating a military supply basis at a depth of, say, 150 or 250 kilometers from the border with the yellow and blue to launch strikes with ATACs and other equipment. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a very powerful missile that belongs to us. And that's what they're using to strike the bear. Well, car cave. This is what NATO Secretary General said officially a while ago. Therefore, the direct conflict between the bear and NATO is a given. Now, another reason why the bear, excuse me, Joe, did not give the green light to strike inside the bear territory because it will hurt his November election. You guys know what I'm talking about this November. So it will hurt him really bad if that happens. Green light, officially from NATO, hit targets inside a bear immediately. <laughs> and um, international law gives the yellow and blue the right to strike legitimate ta uh, military targets inside a bear to protect its sovereignty. What are you talking about to protect this? NATO, you guys are not getting hit. You guys are not getting hit. NATO, you shouldn't be worried. This is between the yellow and blue and the bear. Ugh. 
NATO Secretary General, uh, who is visiting Sweden, and a new member of NATO said on Friday, the yellow and blue has the right to self-defense. Well, yeah, that's true. But uh, let them deal with it on their own. Why is it, that, again, so the bear has the right to the uh, self-defense too, so that means the red dragon could help them out too. This is a, uh, this is the problem that Sleeping Giant get involved in everybody's business. Sleeping Giant Land was not built to be doing these type of stuff. The Sleeping Giant Land is a home for the Sleeping Giant to live in peace. Back in the 15, 1400, we had to run away from Europe and those regions. Back then, it was really bad. Until you have Ponce de Leon and Christopher Columbus, they found the, well, Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas, which I believe he discovered South America. Ponce de Leon discovered North America. And then, um, you guys already know, Ponce de Leon, you know, Puerto Rico, and you had Christopher Columbus and Dominican Republic. I think he was buried in Dominican Republic. And uh, the Dominican... Well, back then, it was not fully Dominicans. Uh, it was just a different name. But those people there, they love Christopher Columbus. They gave him gold. Christopher, uh, Christopher Columbus is like, whoa, this is gold? Wow. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, I mean, back then, you know, um, when the Sleeping Giant was formed, it's, it's a Sleeping Giant home for the people to live in peace. 200 something years later, this is where we at. The Sleeping Giant is a big bank that supplies many lands with ching ching money and equipments. You go to war, you go to war, you go to war, you go to war. And yeah, that's how money is being, uh, you know, just signing checks left and right. And this, you know, a lot of people are getting paid. This is a biblical war of aggression launched by the bear against a peaceful. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. The yellow and blue was taken over. You had so many stuff going on in the, in the yellow and blue. You know, the 4 6 sun, you know that hunter? He had some stuff going on in the yellow and blue. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There was lawlessness going on in there. <laughs> so, don't forget 10% to the big guy. Remember that? There is no doubt that the yellow and blue has the right to strike target on the bear. Well, here's the thing. The yellow and blue has become uh, really messed up. Really, really messed up. And the sleeping giant wanted to put their equipment in the yellow and blue country, which is a big no-no. New NATO yellow and blue agreement. All right. Finally, NATO plans to sign yet another defense agreement. With the yellow and blue capital now it says here according to bloomberg cooperation in the field of info exchange and defense technology will be expanded once again the corresponding documents could be signed in july this year most likely at the nato summit in washington it's instance according to this person very important person for nato assistant david then, uh, I'm going to skip that name, is that the Yellow and Blue Capital will receive more extensive information about the capability of the Bear Federation, including the Bear Electronic Warfare Project and the supply of drones. We are seeing it, we are living it, and we are witnessing Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. And ladies and gentlemen, this thing is getting really hot. Sleeping giant equipment already taken out in a sense. It seems like we might see a little bit of the GAZA strip happening now. Mm. One thing I tell you, this person is absolutely right. 4 6 re election means WW3. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you can, please share this video. Once again, breaking news updates about Nation Against Nation. And it's very important that people start preparing themselves spiritually, physically, and mentally. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.